All right, Terry, I wanted you to look at these side panels I found. As you can see on the motor compartment, it's kind of all open. That's just the way I've been showing it to you. I actually had these babies here fabbed. Um, they were real dusty. They were in the, in the back laundry room. So, But um, this will cover up that hole right there. So you've got an actual kind of a fender well. As you can see, I know it goes up underneath the fender right there. You can see from... Where the dust went, those go right there, and obviously uh, this one matches up here, underneath this one right here. Um, there are holes, I had rivets in there originally, but you could obviously put screws in there, and I do have holes on that tube that's running across to the bottom. There's one right there, and there's another one right here. See, there is a lot of dust there, and there's one right here. So that goes to the bottom of that plate, and this is clean up really nice. And that'll kind of cover that up, and I've got another one for the other side, and you can kind of see what that'll look like. And it mounts up nice once it's up there. Like I said, I do have one for this side. I've also got the, uh, the strut tower brace send you that too. That helped a lot with flexing. Right there. So I'll make sure and put that inside the car. Um, I want to be clear with something else. This fuel pressure gauge right here that's on the cowling is only the fuel pressure gauge to the motor. In other words to the car. The fuel pressure gauge in there that's hanging down that you can mount wherever you want I guess is fuel pressure to the nitrous solenoids. So that would be your pressure to the plate or to your fog or whatever it is you're running. And um, that's actually fuel pressure, not nitrous pressure. I'm sorry. Nitrous pressure is inside. Fuel pressure is on this gauge. So if you were going to run nitrous, which I'm not sure what we des you decided, but that would be your fuel pressure to your plate. All right, and that's coming off that regulator. Um, I did show you in the back. So I'd had the back adjusted as far as the anti-sway bars and so on. Um, and there are two-way adjustable uppers up there somewhere. There they are. And there's an anti-sway bar. Let me see. I can't see the uppers. I can't see a thing, man. Oh, there's one of the fuel pumps. Here's the filter, or the other fuel pump, I'm sorry. And the filter. There's two lines coming out of the fuel cell. One to each system, the nitrous and the motor. But, um, let's see. Like I said, the Zeus tool will be... That'll be inside the car and in the, behind the front seat. Um, this I attach the hood to here, and then I use pins up in the front to keep the down up. But it will, you could use it either way, I guess, if you want to make it a pull off. But I do have pinholes on the, on the hood.